What the fuck is going on, people? It's old Leon. With that hit or miss gaming. We're doing Resident Evil 4, part question mark. Yeah. Getting on down into things. Walking through hallways and holding guns and breathing and all kinds of stuff. Alright, anyways. So yeah, that, that could quite possibly be the dumbest intro that we've done so far. Maybe we'll maybe we'll one up it later in the future, maybe, possibly. Perhaps. That's, that's kind of a thing that me and Chris strive ourselves on doing, is, is doing like the dumbest intro to shit. Don't ask me why, it's, it's just a thing of ours. It's kind of like a, kind of like a running joke, you know what I mean? Let's see what's going on here, folks. Check the sides here one more time, make sure I don't forget anything. A desert to cherish our remaining years. Bread begins the meal of life. All these little things have weird little shit to say. Meat to savor the time at hand. One last drink and the bottle breaks, returning us to the dust from whence we came. Oh, you must mean this bottle. Yeah, don't ask me how breaking a bottle on a painting unlocks a door. I mean, dude, don't ask me how that shit works, but, uh, Capcom, man. You know, Capcom. I think there's gonna be a snake in one of these boxes here. And he always gets me. Little rascally bastard. There. Took long enough. I'm going to, to attempt to have intellectual conversation. Um, there, there's something that I've been wanting to talk about concerning concerning these games, but I've just I've just been neglecting to do it uh, just because I have a bad memory, I guess. But uh, yeah, so the thing that I want to talk about, may, maybe we can start something in the comments section, maybe. Um, I swear I broke this. Pretty sure I broke that pot, man. I break everything that I see. Unless if it like respawns whenever you come back through here or something. But anyways, um Yeah, so the thing I want to talk about is uh the the supposed racism in uh Resident Evil 5. Let's see if these crows have respawned over here. Nope. But yeah, when, uh... I, I don't even think it was... When Resident Evil 5 actually launched, it was beforehand when they did the trailer reveal and people were people were seeing, you know, this uh, Chris Redfield, you know, sh shooting Africans. And, uh... You know, every, everybody was up in arms at just the sight of it. 
and you know they, they were claiming racism you know Capcom is racist and stuff Here, here's this white male who you know is not only white but he's uh, I guess like you know somewhat of an authority figure you know maybe because uh, he's like an officer or something you, you know like a BSAA agent or whatever not really an officer that upholds the law but rather is uh, um, works against uh, bioterrorism and, and shit like that you know, fi fictional bullshit, really. Well, not maybe not so fictional, because we still have, like, you know, dirty bombs and shit here in the real world, but, uh, you know, everybody was up in arms ever seeing this, and it's it's just like... Ah, uh, man, I'm not sure if I can go on. Just, just give me a second here, guys. I'm, I'm going to get back to it, uh, the conversation here. But right now, I gotta, I gotta worry about this shit, because this is a very, very difficult part of the game. Yeah, see. Oh yeah, this is not good. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, uh, cool, man. Great. I hate this part. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Gotta think about how I'm gonna do this. Okay. Matano! Fucking go, god damn it. Oh. Are you serious? God, dude. Fuck this game. Two for one, bitch. down here you you're going the wrong direction other way other way he he's over there he's over there on the other side you know yeah i'd like to pick up those items that those guys dropped This is a problem. This is a big problem. Alright guys, here's what I'm gonna do. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna work. I'm gonna sneak over here. Take my little items. And we're all gonna be good. Matano. Oh fuck. Shit. Here. He is a complete dumbass, though. He's in the total fucking wrong direction. He needs to be in the one direction. <laughs> if you know what I mean. As in, the best band ever. As in, the most sexiest 
men alive. Oh shit! What the? You have got to be kidding! Are you serious? He knew exactly where I was at. Dude, if he comes down here, I'm gonna lose it. What now? Is he coming over here? Oh, dude, give it a rest, man. Go away. Oh. Oh, man. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Here he comes again. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of stupid, guys. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Oh, I guess we gotta wait now. I guess we gotta, you know, wait. Oh, here he comes again. Okay, cool. This is awesome. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm restarting. I'm restarting. This is garbage. Fucking stupid ass piece of shit game. Oh, just give me a second, guys, and you, we'll, we'll get back to the conversation. Dude, this stupid fucking shit. Yeah, fuck you. Eat my car. Eat my fucking dick. Yeah, totally fair. Totally fair. This whole thing, totally fair. That's fun. That's fun. I got another 20 minutes. Yeah, about another 20 minutes. Stupid fucking piece of shit. Here. Oh no! Oh, did you see that guy fly? <laughs> did you guys see that shit? I fucking kicked down the door and that guy just fucking flew. Oh, man. No, I'm glad I replayed through everything. Where's your head at? at, 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 at? Man, they sure do take their time off the ground. Not that I'm complaining. Sorry, it just doesn't work that way. That's right, walk the fuck away. Stupid son of a bitch!
Oh no! The scary man's coming! All the while I get this asshole shooting crossbow bolts at me. You'll never find me! Nice, dude. I've been upgrading this rifle, man. It kills this thing super fast now. Okay. So we're doing a lot better, guys. Doing a lot fucking better. These last few douchebags. You can die now. <laughs> You're stupid. Maybe not. Oh yeah, that's right, they send like a couple of them down. A little bit at a time. Should be good now. Keyword should. Okay. Heal myself. Things are looking a little bit better. How many kicks does it take to break down a locked door? I actually don't think you can break this down by kicking it. It's either you knife it or you shoot it. Good thing I was using the shotgun then. Or else I would have been kicking until my fucking foot fell off. So anyways, back to the conversation. Um, so yeah, the, the racism, the, the supposed racism in, in Resident Evil 5, you know, to, to, to Capcom's defense, okay, these aren't people anymore, okay, like, th these are fucking brainwashed, you know, zombies, they don't have, uh, you know, a conscience, or, you know, uh, they're no longer, you know, sentient, free-thinking beings who possess free will, you know what I mean, uh, so, they're, they're basically just husks, you know what I mean? They're, they're just fucking husks, there's, there's nothing there, they're just brainwashed uh, and controlled by a puppeteer, you could say. So, uh, I don't care if, what, what fucking ethnicity they are, what fucking sex they are, what their fucking sexual orientation is, it's, it becomes totally irrelevant when, you know, they become brainwashed, or, you know, they have the, uh, the Uroboros, uh, virus inside of them, or whatever, whatever the technicality is, but, uh, it, it doesn't matter, it's all bunk, you know, at that point, when, when you're dealing with it. Oh, shit. So, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, do a continue point. <laughs> Cause that was garbage. 
That's what happens when you get too involved in the conversation. It's, it's, it's like a very complicated version of plate spinning, you know, you gotta, you gotta do two things at once. Fuck your face! Right now I want you to take a big step back and literally FUCK YOUR OWN FACE! Oh, good old Tropic Thunder. Also, Tom Cruise was a badass in that movie. Like, he fucking killed it in that movie. There's not a, there, there's not a whole lot of films that I like Tom Cruise in. I, I really don't like Tom Cruise as an actor, or not. But, uh... That movie was fucking hilarious when he did it. Like, he made that movie better. Down you go. That was fucking beautiful right there. A kick that just threw him off the ledge and killed him at the same time. Head explosion with plummeting involved. Couldn't get more beautiful than that. So, anyways, back to the conversation, I guess. So, 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 yeah. I mean, like, like I was saying, like I, I, I no longer care what ethnicity or sexual orientation or gender or whatnot. But once they become brainwashed, it, it, it doesn't matter anymore. It's like, who cares? Just fucking kill them to survive. That's all that matters is survival. Um. And another thing, too, uh, another argument that you could make against this, you know, Resident Evil 5 is racism, or, or not Resident Evil 5, but Capcom. Um, another argument you can make in the defense of this is uh, to say that... Uh, oh, shit! What the fuck? That ain't no goods. That ain't no goods at all. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. Y'all motherfuckers need some Jesus in your life. You guys see how you try to puke on me? Now it's kidding. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, man. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Sweet. Yeah, I totally forgot that they send that ambush. At well, I knew about it. That's why I wasn't. I, I thought that they only sent that ambush party after you as you begin crossing that bridge. But I was wrong, like usual. They, they just they just send them out at you as soon as you climb the, the ladder there. So anyways... But yes, yeah, so, so another argument you could make um, in the defense of Capcom, I guess, but uh, you could say that, like, well, it, it comes with the territory. You know, like... Since they chose to set the game in Africa, you get, guess what is predominant? What what the predominant ethnicity is in Africa, guys? You know, I don't have to answer. You guys fucking know, uh, so I don't have to answer it, assholes. It, it just it just comes with the territory. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's the same thing with this game. Like. They, everybody got was was all up in arms. Oh, Capcom, you know, you're, you're killing Spaniards and fucking Europeans and whatnot. Uh, they chose they chose to set this game in in uh, Spain, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. And it's just like it has nothing to do with them being racist or anything like that. It's just where they fucking choose to set the game, and that's all there is to it. I mean, what, what are you gonna do? Fucking set the, you know, have the game be set in Africa and then and then fill the place with white people? Is that is that cool? Because that makes no fucking sense at all. And uh, man, it's just ridiculous, dude. Like pe people just, ugh. Just, 
the, the over PC, the, the over fucking politi politically correctness, and fucking social justice warriors, and just. I don't know, man. They, they just take it way too far, dude. They just fucking take it way too far. And what, and you know what? If you're gonna be outraged about you know pe people killing, uh, you know black people or fucking Spaniards or whatever Spanish people, then where where is the outrage whenever white people are being killed in video games? Is that cool? Because you know I'm I'm white. I'm a Caucasian man. So you know I can be offended that everybody else is. Uh, you know, but you know, like in, in most games, there, you know, there's a lot of white people being killed. So guess what? I'm gonna be offended about it. You know, it's just bullshit. It really is. I'm I'm not I'm not really offended by it. I'm just using it as an example. I don't really get offended by anything. Really. I kind of take the uh, Christopher Hitchens. Uh, side of things where he's just like saying that you're offended isn't a constitution for any kind of argument it just means you're offended and that's it it doesn't it doesn't create a uh, a stepping stone for any kind of argument whatsoever it's just you're offended leave the room and then that's it <laughs> you know what I mean Well, it worked out that time, I guess. I was doing pretty good fending for myself uh, in the last part where I died here. But uh, I guess it wasn't good enough, right, guys? <laughs> it's never good enough. It's never good enough. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Look at that shit. I fucking shot the uh, candle brazier, or, or however it's pronounced. <laughs> okay. That works. Uh-oh, 27 minutes, guys. You know, I'm, I'm going to make this episode a little bit longer. Just finish up this whole little segment here, you know? For some reason, I remember there being a sparkly there above his uh, thingamabobber. That sounds really weird. It sounds like I'm describing a fucking Prince Albert on some guy's fucking junk. A sparkly thing on the end of his thing in the wall. Alrighty. Oh, I thought he had a shield. He's getting ready to pull off my shotgun for this shit. Die, bitch! Die by the end of my blade, motherfucker! Alright, time to loot. It's that time again, my friends. Time to pick up some shit. Oh my god, yes, I want the rocket launcher. Yes, I want the rocket launcher. Shotgun shells. I I I would like the flash grenade first though. Uh-oh, stuck on the environment. Okay. Time to sort some shit out.
Okay. So I got to make a sense out of all this garbage. Definitely don't want to get rid of the Magnum ammo. That's a staple. Should be a staple in everybody's inventory. So what am I working with here? I got tons of fucking incendiary grenades. Got tons of fucking flash grenades. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the merchant here. I'm going to dump some of this... Some of these incendiary grenades here. And hopefully that'll free up some space in my inventory for this rocket launcher. Maybe. Now, in, in normal mode, I would recommend just selling the rocket launcher for more money. But since this is pro mode, it's it's best to keep it's best to hold on to it to make boss fights Got some easier. Rare thing. What are you buying? Ooh, perfect fucking timing. You know, I for, I totally forgot that they give you the the extra large attached attach case here. Is that all? <laughs> That's definitely going to help out holding this holding the rocket launcher. Yeah, I totally for what forgot that they buying? gave you that at this point in the game. What are you selling? So maybe I can just pick it up without selling anything. The the boss that I recommend using the rocket launcher on though would definitely be uh I, I believe the boss's name is Vertigo. Uh, Salazar's right hand or left hand or whatever. I can't remember which 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 hand he is. But uh it's basically those those creepy looking cloaked creatures that stand behind that stand beside him. You you end up fighting one of those later in the game. And I definitely recommend using the the rocket launcher on that because he is a son of a bitch. He he's optional though. You can run away from him if if you if you're good enough. Um, but it's actually best to just kill him because he drops uh, this this really like rare loot that that only he drops. So you benefit from that, you know. You benefit from killing him, even though it is optional. All right, guys. Looking pretty good. Oh, I better not save just in case my fucking video for some reason is all fucked up. Whenever I go to review the footage. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this part, give us a fucking thumbs up, man. Thumbs up the video if you support this content. It's the best way to let us know, along with a comment saying that you like this video. That's nice, you know. Uh, so yeah, give us a comment, leave us some feedback, join in the conversation. I mean, you guys can talk about the whole Resident Evil 5 thing if you want. Um, you know, you can, you can f feel free to object to, to my points, you know what I mean? It's all good. Uh, so anyways, uh, you guys have yourself a good fucking day. Keep gaming and keep it metal! See you guys around.